We are going to continue our team coverage with Chinu Her, joining us live with more on the crash and the other victims involved. Well, Ryan, those killed include not only Carly McCord, but the pilot and a 15 year old boy. In the parking lot of a Lafayette, Louisiana post office Saturday morning, a terrifying scene. Flames and smoke filled the air shortly after a small plane crashed just about a mile from the Lafayette Regional Airport where it took off. Witnesses tell NBC News the Piper Cheyenne twin turbo prop appeared to be having engine trouble before clipping a power line and crashing. Fire Chief Robert Benoit confirmed five people were killed and three hospitalized. Some of those injured were on the ground when the eight passenger plane crashed, including two workers at that post office. We also had one individual that was in a car or near a car uh, that was impacted by the event who was also being treated for their injuries. One of the people killed, WDSU sports reporter Carly McCord, the daughter-in-law of LSU offensive coordinator Steve Ensminger, who still went on to coach in the game. The station's president says in a statement, we are devastated by the loss of such an amazing talent and valued member of our WDSU family. Obviously a tragic event. Our, our, our thoughts and prayers are with the families right now. At this point, there's an investigation that's underway that will continue for the next several days or weeks even. The FAA and NTSB are both investigating. And the other victims here, 51-year-old Ian Biggs was the pilot, also on board along with McCord, 51-year-old Gretchen Vincent and the 15-year-old Michael Vincent and 59-year-old Robert Vaughn, the vice president of Global Data Systems. Now, the sixth passenger who was hospitalized, Stephen Wade Burzas, also worked for Global Data Systems. Tonight, still no word on what caused the crash. Yeah, still a lot of questions out there. Thank you, Chanu.